Hello. Today I want to make myself a matching set that will include a maxi skirt and a top, of course. And I'm going to be using this sheet I got from the thrift store. I have all the windows closed and you can still hear everything going on outside. Here's a little close-up of the print. Let's go do the skirt first because that's going to be the easiest part of this set. So the full length I want my maxi skirt to be is around 38, 39 inches. So I'm going to go and divide that by three since I'm going to have three tiers. And I'm going to go and cut out my three tiers for my skirt. Here are all the measurements I took from my skirt and the pieces I cut out. I went and I took the front and back of each tier and I sewed them together, right sides facing along the short sides. So I went and I gathered the top edge of my bottom tier and I did that by sewing two straight stitches along the top edge of my bottom tier with the longest stitch length my machine would allow. I backstitched at the start of my stitches but not at the end and made sure to leave those threads a little bit long just so I can pull them to gather this. I'm gathering this edge to be the same length as my second tier. Once my bottom tier was gathered evenly, I used my clips to attach it to my middle tier right sides facing. I have my bottom tier clipped to the top tier and I'm going to go and sew these two together and then I'm going to go and serge that raw edge. And now I'm going to go and gather the top edge of this middle tier to attach it to my top tier. And now I'm just going to go and create my elastic casing at the top of my skirt by folding over the edge half an inch and then my two inches and I'm going to press that and then top stitch that in place making sure I leave an opening to feed my elastic in. Then I went and fed my elastic in there and stitch the ends of the elastic together and so that opening I left closed. And then I sew four straight stitches across my waistband while stretching the elastic. And then I just finished my skirt by hemming the bottom edge with a double fold hem. And here's my finished skirt. It's so easy to make a tiered skirt, especially if you use like a nice flowy fabric. So, you know, that's a cute quick project you can do and make for yourself for spring. But I am going to be making a top, as I said. So let's get on to how I made the top. Now, I went and I took the measurement around my bust for this, but I was actually supposed to take the measurement around my shoulders for this. And that's why at the end, when I show you my top, you're gonna see it's a little too snug in the back. You can just see in my face that I knew I was doing something wrong here. So make sure you take the measurement around your shoulders for this. I sewed my backs to the front, right sides facing, and then I used my shirt to trace my armhole onto my top, and I cut that out to get this. And now I'm just gonna serge the raw edges. I pressed up the bottom edge half an inch and then up my two inches for my elastic casing and pressed that in place. For the top, I'm going to be adding my quarter of an inch elastic, so I folded over the edge twice to create the casing for that. And then I cut two shoulder straps from the side edge of my sheet and pinned them to my top to figure out what length I needed them to be. Then I went and fed my elastic pieces into all my casings and stitched them in place at the ends. And after adding my elastic into all my casings, I sewed my shoulder straps on. And here's how it's fitting so far. It looks really cute sleeveless, but I really wanted some sleeves, so I'm gonna show you how I did that. I attached one of my sleeves 
And here's how it's looking close up. I just used a sleeve from another project. I'll link that video in case you want to see exactly how I was able to cut out this sleeve. But I'm going to go and stitch the sides closed and serge that and I'm going to gather the top edge and attach it to my top. I went and I pinned my sleeve to my armhole here along the bottom edge of my sleeve's armhole and I still have to pin it to my strap and before I do that I'm going to go and gather the rest of the sleeve to be the length of the strap and then I'm going to go and attach all of that. I just gathered my sleeves the same way I gathered my tears and then I finished my sleeve by creating an elastic casing at the hem of the sleeve and feeding my elastic into my casing. I went and I cut myself a rectangle of the fabric. I added some buck, not bias tape. I added some interface into it and I pressed in the edges and then pressed it in half and I'm attaching it to the center back. And then I got the idea to do some loop buttons in the back instead of the tie I was going to do. So I went and I cut a piece of my sheet on the bias and you know it's on the bias because that's the direction that has the stretch. I'm gonna go and turn this into a long tube to create my loops. If you have a loop turner, that will make this process easier. If you don't, there's ways to do it and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it, but a loop turner would probably make this step easier so i just folded my fabric strip in half and sew less than a quarter of an inch from the folded edge and then i trimmed off the excess fabric the method i'm using to turn my loop right side out i saw on youtube i'm going to show the video i saw here and if you do use this method you should definitely go to this video and you should give it a thumbs up but you just slice into your loop and then you can use a hairpin to snag onto that little hole you cut and then turn your loop right side out by pulling the hairpin through the loop. Then I cut my loop into individual loops and base stitch them right sides face into my top at the back. And then I took my piece of fabric, I added that interface into and sold it to that side right sides facing. I turned that piece to the inside of my top and top stitched that in place. And on the other edge of my bag, as you saw, I just attached that other piece with the interface into the edge the way you would attach bias tape. Now I just need to find five buttons to sew on to finish my top. Look how cute these rose buttons are. But I only found three of those, so I don't think I can use those. I found a set of five of these, which I'm likely going to use. And then I just sew my buttons to the back of my top on the side opposite the loops.